this is a mechanical advantage question. We have a larger gear that is rotating at uh, 6.7 revs per second, and it is attached to a smaller gear. And of course, the smaller gear is going to go a lot faster to keep up. So let's remind ourselves the mechanical advantage equation is radius 1 over radius 2. And radius 1 is always the input gear, the one that is spinning initially, and radius 2 would be for the smaller gear. So if I want to calculate the mechanical advantage of this question, see the larger gear has a 15.1 centimeter radius, so I'll go 15.1 centimeters, and we'll divide that by the smaller radius, which is 3.4 centimeters. Of course, the centimeters are a ratio, so they will cross off. Okay, and the mechanical advantage then is 4.4, uh, which is a unit listing. And what we mean by that is for every one rotation of the larger gear, the smaller gear has to rotate 4.4 times. So the ultimate goal then is to find the angular and linear velocities of the smaller gear. So if I want the angular velocity of the smaller gear, so I'll say radi the radius 2. So, um, so the omega of radius 2, let's just label it like that. That's going to equal 4.4 multiplied by the angular velocity of the larger gear, which is 6.7. And that gives us uh, 29.8 rads per second for the smaller gear. Now, if I do want the linear velocity of the smaller gear, I'll just use my equation B is equal to R omega. So the velocity linear of the smaller gear is going to be its radius, which is 3.4. Now that's in centimeters, so our answer will come out in centimeters per second. I'll multiply that by 29.8 rads per second. And that gives us about 101 centimeters per second as the linear velocity of the smaller gear.